Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. Whether it's to sign up for your newsletter, download a video, or make their first purchase, sometimes your visitors need a little push in the right direction. Pop-ups have the ability to draw attention to a small, singular message, no matter what part of the page the user is currently reading. They have a largely undeserved bad rap due to the way certain unscrupulous webmasters used to use them to trap their visitors on the site. But, used sparingly, tastefully, and with a targeted message, pop-up windows have the power to nudge the user toward a desired action. In this tutorial, you're going to create a pop-up. To do this, head over to the Other tab and click Pop-up Wizard. It's on this initial screen where you can add, edit, or delete your pop-ups. We don't have any yet, so let's click Add to get started. A seven-step wizard appears. Here you can name your pop-up and add a description. There are actually four types of pop-ups, so let's quickly look at an example of each. A pop-in shows up on the page being viewed. A pop-over is similar, but technically appears over the page. The distinction between these two is mainly aesthetic. A pop-under shows up under the page viewed, useful for when you don't want to interrupt the user's current activity on your site. And Site Exit, where the pop-up doesn't actually show up until the user tries to leave your site. I'm picking Pop-In for this tutorial, but please feel free to go back and experiment. You can also pick the relative position on the page where the pop-up will end up. I'll choose Dead Center. Moving on to Window, we basically have a blank canvas. You've got the border color, which is also the color of the pop-up's title bar. You can add a heading to it, and also set the heading's formatting. Finally, on this tab, you can set the dimensions of the pop-up window as well. The contents of the Design tab might look familiar to you. Essentially, you're designing a web page, only smaller in size. Add a product listing, a newsletter sign-up form, or in my case, information on a special promotion we're running. It's completely up to you. Just make sure that it's relevant to the user. Next, on the Triggers tab, set the page or pages where you want this pop-up to appear. When a visitor lands on one of these pages, the pop-up will, well, pop up. In our case, we only want it showing up on specific, related product pages. Of course, if the window popped up on each and every page load, this would get annoying for the user very quickly. Here on Frequency, you can choose from multiple radio buttons to determine just how many times this window will show up for each user. Also, it's typically helpful to have the pop-up refrain from appearing right away, but rather wait a certain number of seconds. Let's go with 10. When it does show up, we want to make sure that it makes a real appearance, so we'll check the Slide the pop-up onto the screen checkbox. The Stop tab will disable a pop-up entirely, site-wide, for those visitors who have already landed on one or more specific pages. For example, I wouldn't want to alert a user to a special deal on this product if they've already bought it, so I would disable the pop-up for everyone who's been on its Thank You For Your Purchase page. Finally, it's time to preview your pop-up. Clicking the Preview Pop-up button will give you an example of what it will actually look like. Of course, the real proof lies in seeing it in action on an actual page. When previewing it on your site, if you've set it to only appear a small number of times, the Reset Pop-Ups button here will reset any cookies on your local system so that you can continue to preview the pop-up at will. Click Finish, and our new pop-up shows up in the list. Finally, notice the Active checkbox here. This will let you temporarily disable works in progress with one-click ease. With pop-ups, you can easily nudge users toward a purchase, remind them to sign up for your newsletter, or recommend related products, 
all resulting in more revenue for you.